Now, the Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. Sponsored by Ohio Northern University. The best discoveries come from the unexpected. By the Toledo Clinic. Choose well, feel better. By PT Link Physical Therapy. Feel the difference and get relief now. By Marsha's Homemade Buckeyes. From our kitchen to yours since 1984. By Frickers, the home for fun, food, sports, and spirits. And by Impede Intraseal, a better way to make concrete. Now, here's Jordan Strack. Welcome into Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. We are into week two of the high school football season. Our crew is out covering 15 games across the area. We've also got our Friday night feature coming up as well. But let's kick it off with our game of the week. It is a track versus NLL matchup. Finley traveling to take on Perrysburg. Trojans coming off a win against Anthony Wayne. Perrysburg lost last week at home, trying to bounce back tonight, and they bounce back quickly. Jackets up 14-0 at the half, and then here in the third, it's 14-7. TJ Tackett's though with the quarterback keeper gets the edge, barrels his way in. They're back up by two scores. Into the fourth quarter, Jackets inside the 20. Connor Wallenzak fighting for every single yard to the end zone. His third touchdown of the night. He had 220 yards rushing. Jackets up 28-7. Finley though not going away without a fight. On the ensuing kickoff, Donovan Harris to the house, 95 yards, but it wasn't enough. Perrysburg outgains Finley on offense, 531 to 65. Jackets win 28-14. Christy Kopanis live tonight from Perrysburg with more. Yeah, Jordan, I got two words for you. Connor Wallenzak, he put this team on his back. A monster night for him. The three touchdowns is what make the highlight reel, but you didn't see where the, touch, or where the carries that he had on third and long or fourth and two. Those kept drives alive and kept Perrysburg dominating tonight. And then after the game, Dirk Connor was very honest with me when I talked about a statement win. This is going to sound arrogant, but I don't care. We expect it to win tonight. And we're going to clean some uh, things up, and it's going to be better next time around. So, no, it feels great, man. We, we, the hype is what it is. I mean, we've talked to kids since the day I got here um, about we're not going to be hype. We're going to go to work, and we're going to roll our sleeves up, and we're going to grind away. And what you saw tonight, minus a few things we got to clean up, is what we expect to see every week. I think it shows that we're a really competitive team. And, you know, we got down first week, but we came back, battled really hard. And we showed that we got it. Played really hard, play with a lot of heart. The, the blocking tonight, the O-line and the wide receivers, they were really physical. Getting it done for me tonight, they opened everything up. All my credit to them. That means a lot, but win's a win. I mean, we just gotta go next week, think about St. John's too. I mean, coach was preaching, we gotta go, go, go. And it's, it was all, it's all about us. Don't worry about the opponent, just worry about us. You can hear the Jackets are already thinking about next week against St. John's. And if they're as good as Dirk Connor says they can be, when they clean up all their mistakes, this team could be very dangerous this season. Reporting from Perrysburg tonight, Christy Kopanis, WTOL 11.